Check. Check one, two. Hey everyone, Kyle McLeod here checking in on another glorious backcountry adventure. This week we're going to be venturing through the Wessex County National Forest. It's home to one of the most diverse ecosystems in the Catskills. Now we're going to make about a probably about a 45 mile loop up and around the lake and hopefully find ourselves back here at base camp in just a few days. I should mention this hike is not for the weary so I recommend only intermediate to advanced levels tackle this route. So let me catch any noobs out here. That's right, looking at you, Hiker Man 5000. Anyways, according to my guidebook, we got about an eight hours trek to our first rendezvous spot at South Lake Summit. And sunset is, oh, sunset's in roughly seven hours from now. So I gotta get a move on. That's gonna be all for now, guys. I'll see you at the top. Kyle out. miles, 40,000 steps in a 276 story climb later. And here we are, South Point Summit. Whew. And I think right over the ridge right there is where the lake is. All right, that's gonna be all for now. Catch up to you guys later tonight. Kyle out. Hey, what's up trail junkies? This week, I wanna show you a pretty handy tool that is essential to your gear list. It is a three-piece collapsible shovel by, uh, uh, fuck, what was it again? <sighs> three-piece collapsible shovel by Lana Industries. Easy to assemble, amazingly strong. Multi-purpose, really? This thing? Seems like a piece of shit to me. <laughs> Fucking sponsor. <sighs> okay. Land in industries. Easy to assemble, easy to be strong. <sighs> Here we go. Let's sell this fucker. Hey, what's up, trail junkies? This week. Fuck me! It's a 
pack of coyotes. Six, maybe eight. I think they're hunting something. this thing up tomorrow. Hey, what's up guys? So it's day two and a beautiful one at that. Something pretty interesting happened this morning. I found an old trail marker on the other side of the creek. And it's not marked in the guidebook, but I think it's just more of a reason to check it out. Oh, and hopefully, if all goes accordingly, we'll find ourselves on the south side of the lake. So today's mission will be find the lake. <sighs> oh, fuck. You know, the train's not looking too friendly, but I'm just gonna have to make my way. Nothing's stopping me. All right, well, that's all for now. See you guys in a little bit. Kyle out. Hey, hey, check it out. <laughs> All right, so according to my guidebook, the land beyond this was donated to a wild preserve decades ago. And it doesn't say why, but whatever the reason, they must not want people on this side of the lake. <sighs> Wish I would've known that before I walked all the way out here. <sighs> the problem is if I turn back now, it's gonna take me all day just to get back to where I was. Or, I wouldn't suggest this, but I could probably cut through and catch back up with one of the trails on the other side of the lake. waiting around. It's time to move out.
Here we are, the southernmost point of the lake. Now all I have to do is catch up with one of the trails on the other side of the cove and follow all the way back. Uh, sundown is uh, probably in a couple hours. So I need to find a place to settle up for the night. Not safe traveling out here, especially after dusk. Whew. All right, I guess it's all for now. Catch up with you guys in a bit. Kyle out. You guys are not gonna believe this. This place is way more than a nature preserve. Look what I found. It's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, check this out. See what else we can find.
Crystal Lake. <laughs> Can't believe it. My brother used to tell me stories about this place. Supposedly one summer, forever ago, a kid by the name of Jason Voorhees drowned in that lake. The cops searched for days, but his body was never discovered. The kid's mom, who was also the camp's cook, blamed the counselors for her son's death. And one night she went crazy, killing almost everyone before getting her own head chopped off by the only survivor. My brother also said that Jason, who was still in the lake, witnessed his mother's death and returned from the grave to seek out her revenge on anyone who entered the camp. <laughs> or some shit like that. I don't really know. It's stupid, but man, that story used to scare the shit out of me. But, you know, now that I'm here and I get to see this place in person, I kind of feel sorry for it. I mean, aside from your lonesome trespassing hiker, no one gets to experience this place again. That sucks. All because of some stupid ghost story. Why well, I'm afraid of no ghost. <sighs> well, the night's still young, and there's still a couple more places I want to check out, so... You guys care to join me? So the Pamela Voorhees murders happened back in the early 1980s, which means we might be the first people to check out this camp in over 30 years. That's pretty cool, right? Let's see what's in here. I forgot to mention, I've been seeing a lot of these red ribbons around the camp. I think it's a way to mark the crime scenes. So what's behind this door, viewers beware, might not be safe for life. So this has got to be the kitchen. This must be where Pamela served food to all the kids. <sighs> Not my lunch lady's scary.
<laughs> just a door to nowhere. You don't see these every day. Back in the day, they used to use these to lift heavy shit on the second floor. Nowadays, it just looks like an easy way to break your neck if you don't watch your step. That was fun. Let's see what else is in here. I think someone was living here. A birthday prayer for you. If there's any joy that you wish for, God grant it may gladden your way. If there's any blessing you long for, may that be your gift for today. If there's any help you're needing for betterment, comfort, or cheer, God grant it be sent on your birthday to stay with you year after year. That's deep. <clears throat> what is that?
You're okay. Everything's gonna be okay now. You're in good hands. Right, Axel? Axel! Huh? Oh, hey! Welcome back, brother. Hey, didn't anyone ever tell you you should never hike alone? Oh, god damn! Look at the beard on that vagina! Woo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Try not to move. Okay, your body's been through enough already. Let us take it from here. Can you tell us what happened out there? What's the last thing you remember? Do you have any in your hand for your gas? Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! A little help here? Huh? Oh, <laughs> hey, money! Be all right, you're okay. He's, he's still out there. What the hell is going on back here? It's fine, Tommy. It's under control. Are you sure? Didn't sound like it a second ago. Yeah, I'm fine. Axel? Shit, Axel. Ah, oh, shit, man. This is a mess. Yeah, I'm gonna need a minute to clean this up, Tommy. I'd say maybe five tops. 
All right, make it quick. We got a long ride ahead of us. I don't want to be out here any longer than we have to be, okay? someone else in the forest. Are you sure? It was something the patient said when he was awake. I don't think he was out there alone. The guy didn't sound all there from where I was sitting. Yeah, I know, but... I've never seen anyone that scared before. All right, well, we should follow protocol and call it in, right? Yeah. Thanks, Tommy. Yeah, don't mention it. Rescue 26 to dispatch. Requesting correspondence, do you copy? Rescue 26 to dispatch, do you copy, over? Uh, Rescue 26, this is dispatch, go ahead with your request. Hey dispatch, uh, we're heading back to County Medical, but we may have another lost hiker out here on Cunningham Road, do you copy? Copy that, 26, do you have a description of the individual? Over. Uh, that's a negative on the description of the individual. Son of a bitch. I know. Get that, could you please repeat? 26, are you there? Tommy? Let go of me, you ugly son of a bitch! Axel, something's uh, happening to Tommy. Me asshole? Hang on, kid! Uh. <laughs> 